Today we will talk about thermobaric weapon. The term thermobaric is derived from the Greek words, thermos means heat and baros means pressure. A thermobaric weapon, also called vacuum bombs, aerosol bombs, or fuel air explosives. It is a type of explosive that uses oxygen from the surrounding air to generate a high temperature explosion. While most conventional explosives consist of 25% fuel and 75% oxidizer, or a decomposition type explosive such as RDX, thermobaric weapons are almost 100% fuel, and as a result, are significantly more energetic than conventional explosives of equal weight. Despite the fact, their dependence on atmospheric oxygen makes them unsuitable for use underwater, at high altitudes, and in adverse weather conditions. However, thermobaric weapons are considerably more destructive when used against field fortifications such as tunnels, bunkers, and caves. A vacuum bomb consists of a fuel container with two separate explosive charges. After the munition is dropped or fired, the first explosive charge bursts open the container at a predetermined height and circulate the fuel in a cloud that mixes with atmospheric oxygen, the size of the cloud varies with the size of the munition. This cloud can penetrate any building openings or defenses that are not sealed. Then the second charge detonates the cloud and creates a massive blast wave. The blast wave can destroy reinforced buildings, equipment, and kill or injure people. The antipersonnel effect of the blast wave is more severe in tunnels and enclosed spaces, such as bunkers and caves. The weapons are sometimes nicknamed bunker busters because they can effectively demolish defensive barriers. Thermobaric munitions are sometimes known as a poor man's nuclear weapon because they can obliterate any humans in the vicinity. Victims can be killed by the blast or the accompanying shock wave, and the subsequent vacuum can rupture people's lungs. These are controversial because they are much more devastating than conventional explosives of similar size, and have a terrible impact on anyone caught in their blast radius. The typical blast wave of a thermobaric weapon lasts significantly longer than that of a conventional condensed explosive. Many types of thermobaric weapons can be fitted to handheld launchers, and can also be launched from airplanes. There are no international laws specifically banning their use, but if a country uses them to target civilian populations, then it could be convicted of a war crime under the Hague Conventions of 1899 and 1907. Based on the high explosive squash head round, a 120mm thermobaric round was developed by DRDO, which packed thermobaric explosives into the tank shells to increase the effectiveness against enemy bunkers and light armored vehicles. The rounds were designed for the Arjun MBT. When the shells hit a target, produce blast overpressure and heat energy for hundreds of milliseconds.